Dandan is one of the most skill intensive ways of playing magic. Yeah, and I remember as the Dandan King playing very well. Well, last time the game was really short and you didn't like that so much. So we'll do it again. The 10 Dandans from this deck on card market are probably cheaper than actual fish from the supermarket. So why is Dandan so skill intense? Let's look at my opening hand to find out. The whole deck, which is shared between two players, is mono blue and it consists mostly of counter spells, deck manipulation, card draw, and well, a bit of utility. The only creature in the whole pile is Dandan, a 2-mana 4-1 creature that can only survive as long as you control at least one island. That means most games aren't fought over creature combat like regular games of Magic, but instead it's fought by trying to control the top of the library because both you and your opponent draw from the shared library. So if you can control the top of the deck, then you can control your opponent. My opening hand is fine-ish, I would say. It doesn't have any great early game bangers, but it does have four lands and hitting your land drop is really important. Halimar Depths can help set up future turns. It's a really good utility land. And Predict can be cheap card advantage later on. So I'm confident. So we have a good starting hand because we have an Izzet Boilerworks, which already is card advantage by playing a land. But unfortunately, we only have one and only sandbar, so that means it could be kind of dicey, but we're taking a chance to draw an island, and this is a good style. I'll play an island and pass the turn. Okay, draw. I'll play a lonely sandbar tapped, and you go. All right, I will draw. I'll just do it again, play another island, and pass back. Draw. Unfortunately, we did get to our second turn and we didn't find an untapped island, so that means we will have to play the Is It Burler Works, and as good as bounce lands are when you're on the draw and you have to play them, you have to discard if you didn't play anything else. That means we don't get an advantage, but we still have a good land that makes two mana, so everything is good. I will play an Is It Boiler Works. Oh. <laughs> and unfortunately, that leaves me with eight cards and I will discard a Dundon. Mm, okay. I won't do anything at end of turn. Oh, that hurts. I'll draw. Playing an Izzet Boiler works so early into the game and even discarding a card to it because it puts Toffle up to eight cards seems like he doesn't have any other lands in hand. So now I'll play the Depths and try to prevent him from ever hitting another land drop. I will play Halimar Depths, which Ooh. lets me look at the top three cards of my library and you put them back. Uh, yes, your <laughs> library. And put them back in any order. So I have Lots of lands. That's what I figured. <laughs> so you should just give me all the lands, you know? And yeah, go ahead. Have have added. <laughs> let's, let's see how friendly you were. Ah, a six mana card. How nice of you. I mean, we know you have at least one more land in your hand. I will tap two and play an Accumulated Knowledge. Which draws a card and then one more for each Accumulated Knowledge in my graveyard, which is right now zero, but I want that card. Mm. Yes, I see. I don't want you to have that card. Uh, I feel that's a bit rude. Yes, maybe. It's about sharing. In response, I, I don't like you to have that card. Uh, oh. I'll cycle a lonely sandbar. Yes. To draw a mystery card. Unfortunate. Okay, uh, I will draw this card then. You will draw that card. Oh, it's not a land. Okay, then, it, then I will play my lonely sandbar tapped and pass the turn. I will untap and draw. I'll play an island and pass the turn. I'll draw. Oh. And play an island. No! <laughs> Come on! <No>. Ah, <laughs> oh, too bad. Ah. <laughs> I will play a, and now this is kind of complicated, a Dandan, which I hope you saw. <laughs> because they somehow have different editions. Mm. I think this one is. Yeah, that Dandan resolves. Go. At end of turn, I'd like to cast an Accumulated Knowledge because there is already one in the graveyard. Yes, that draws two cards. Go ahead. Nice. One, two. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great to draw cards. Uh, I just need to think. That doesn't feel too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so exhausting. All right, I think I'm just content with my card advantage. I will untap and draw. So... Let's try with another Halimar Depths. Mm. I will check the top three cards. And from my end, that's it. Okay. You're free to 
free to go. Tip. Let's see what you gave me this time. Oh, interesting. Jamin is getting ahead and I don't like it. He already has two cards more than I do because I had to discard the bounce land and he played an accumulated knowledge which drew two cards instead of one. But now we have to shift our game plans because we don't want to have that card advantage go over the long game. Means we have to kind of focus on either putting the pressure on by playing a lot of Dandans and attacking Jamin before he can use all of his cards or play a diminishing returns, leveling the playing field and starting on even cards. Now let's attack. Yes, sure. Now, I have nothing to do and I feel like I'm in the upper hand. So let's play another Dundun. Another Dundun. That's quite the clock you got there. Right? At end of turn, I'd like to cycle this remote aisle to draw a card. So you say you know what's on top and you want to have it. Yes. Okay. Sure. I'd like to have this one. Uh, I would move into my turn. Mm, go. And I'd move into draw. Yes. I'm just an innocent fish who's pledging for some damage. Given that Toffle is still struggling on lands, I want to metamorphose the Izzet Barler works because that land taps for two mana. If I can get rid of it, or even just get rid of it for a single turn, it sets him back on mana. And in control mirrors, usually, if you have a mana advantage, you're in a good spot. All right, I, I'm not sure if this is perfect, but okay. I will try to uh, metamorphose your Is It Boiler works. Metamorphose says put target permanent on top of its owner's library. That opponent may put an artifact, creature, enchantment, or land card from his or her hand into play. That sounds pretty annoying. So I will memory lapse that with your own memory lapse. <laughs> I, well, what do you mean my own memory lapse? I, I gave it to you, basically. It's very kind. And now I will give myself this card. Okay, so I think I'll just let that resolve. Mm -hmm. I've got bad news for Etoffel, because there's so much damage on board. I'll crystal spray your island into a mountain and draw a card. So this card is also mine. I don't know if you noticed, but that is particularly rude because then I don't have an Yes, oh. that's the idea. It seems like he noticed. <laughs> okay, yes. So my dundans are, well, dundun. So this goes here. And I will also play a Mystic Sanctuary, which would let me put any of these instants or sorceries back on top of the library. <laughs> yes, would you like to? Can I get a wish? No. Oh. I won't put anything back on top because they all seem really good. Go ahead. Losing the mana battle is bad, don't get me wrong. In a game where you can have a lot of cards, having the mana is the key to winning. But this is not one of those situations where you can build your deck around using a lot of mana because we have the same deck and we share specific cards. It's also limited on using the cards for mana. So eventually, over the mid game, the mana is not relevant anymore and the advantage of using cards to get mana is minor to actually detrimental. Okay, well, you think you've gotten an advantage, but... I would argue I do have an advantage. <laughs> yes, but it's time to reset the board. We're playing at diminishing returns. Did you just rip an island? <laughs> no. Maybe. It's good because I, I can play that without counting it to the thing. What does it do? Each player shuffles his or her hand and graveyard into his or her library. Uh, well, yeah. how many cards do you have in your hand? I have six. Oh, I, I only have four. And I don't have Remove the top stuff. 10 cards of a library from the game. Each player draws up to seven cards. You can choose apparently to draw this. No, I, I, think this is, I think this is old wording. Like, <laughs> all right. I assume you re let this resolve. Yeah, it's resolving. Okay, would you do the honors of exiling 10 cards? Uh, of course. Three, six, nine, ten. They even face up. It would be fun if they face them. If this is, by the way, ten dundons, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know this. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, very good. We've seen this results, and now you may draw seven cards. I will full full stocked hand again. And now. It's, it's like a fair fight, so it's your mm, turn. It does it. Diminishing returns is unfortunate because I just made a play that focused on one-for-one -one trading with the Dundans and kind of getting card advantage that way. Diminishing returns just sets the card advantage to zero again. But I still have a major mana advantage over Toffle, so that's how I will approach the rest of the game, trying to force through this mana advantage. All right, I will untap. And during my upkeep, <laughs> I've got a play lined up that We've, we've seen before. I'd like to metamorph uh, your Is It Boiler Works. That will resolve. 
Nice. So this one goes on top. Yeah. I does. will put a land into play. I will put an Isabella. <laughs> <into> <laughs> I will return my lonely sandbar, and then mm. use it to cycle. That's very annoying. <laughs> That's not how I wanted this please, to go. Please, pretty please. I will have to accumulate some knowledge in response. Okay, you do. All right, so I'll draw my, is it boiler works? I draw for cycling? Yes, and then I'll go to my draw step yes. <laughs> where I actually draw a card. I'll play this, is it boiler works? And I'll get back my Mystic Sanctuary just because I think it's neat. Yep. And you go. Untap, draw. I will play a... I play a temple temple. All right. It makes a blue, and when I sacrifice, it makes two blue. And it's your turn. I will untap. I will draw. Just because it was uh, so fun, or it is always so fun, I'll play an island, and I will cast Mystic Retrieval <coughs> to try and get back my metamorphosis. This again. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't like any of this, so I have to try. I will cast an Insidious Will. Now, I have three choices. I can either counter the spell, or I will could choose new targets. Not what I'm doing. I will copy the instant or sorcery spell if I may. Please. <laughs> Pretty please. I don't feel it's working. Not necessarily. You know what? That spell is really expensive. So um, how about you take it back into your hand? I will. It happens, and then you get your metamorphose. Yep. Okay. And that's my turn. You don't even want to play it. Car, word, car, word. I'll draw a card. And I think I have to do that before you do it. I want to also cast a Mystic Retrieval. Mm, what do I want? I will take an abscess, ab unsubstantiate. That's a handy spell. Sure, have it. So this one is exiled. This one goes to my hand. And play an island. And then tap two mana for a dundun. A dundun? Right. All right. Because eventually we need to get something going. <laughs> resolves? Yes, that one resolves. I have seven cards, and it's your turn. At end of turn, I'd like to tap this island to cast an Amulet of Visions to turn all islands to mountains until the end of turn. All islands to mountains. Hmm, yeah. Unfortunately, that will kill my dundun. That, that's the plan all along. It works. So, all of islands are mountains, and then dundun doesn't have an island, and it's very sad. All right. We ready to move on? Um, <laughs> give it a second, it was my favorite dun-dun. Okay, we can move on. I will untap, and during my upkeep, I'll tap two lands, and once again try to metamorphose that is it boiler works. Because uh -huh. that's a really nice permanent. <laughs> I feel like I understand your plan. <laughs> I mean, my game has consisted of nothing but this card. <laughs> so usually that card is very bad and yeah. I've never seen that card play but somehow in this case it's completely broken. I still have nothing to do. I will put it on top. Put it on top. I will resolve this spell by putting an island into play. Yep. And then cycle a remote island. <laughs> which hopefully works. Um, oh. I'll cycle my own remote island before mm, that. Very good. So I draw, then you draw for that remote island. And then I draw <laughs> for my draw step. If only my cards would be better instead of just putting worse Is It Boiler Works into play. I'll play in Is It Boiler Works. Ah, oh, how good. <laughs> and pick up these Halimar Depths. Yes. Go ahead. Must be nice. <laughs> Must be nice with I used men. to have them, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you don't appreciate when you have them, but when they're gone. Yeah, you'll really notice. I'll play a dundun. Okay. And it's your turn. So at end of turn, I'll cast a Mystical Tutor. I'll get myself a Mystic Retrieval. I don't have any more boiler works to <laughs> <laughs> Mystic Retrieval, okay, yep. sure. May I go into my turn? Unfortunately, yes. That is quite annoying. I could use Vision Charm here to mill the top four, but unfortunately, Jamin had a pretty smart choice of using a flashback card on the top of the library. So that means even if I mill it, he can flashback it, and then I even lose a card. All right, I'll untap. Good luck. Mm -hmm. I'll draw. All right, let's see, can I? Can I get back an, a diminishing returns? Diminishing returns? Oh, you're, you're desperate. Okay. All right, all right. So diminishing returns goes to my hand. Mm -hmm. That means you're empty on spells, huh? I will play Halimar Depths, checking the top three cards. 
I'll leave it like this. And then that's your turn. All right, untap. I expect to draw an island. Well, snap. Yes, 12. Oh, just passing the turn, huh? I think time plays with me. Well, I mean, you're the one that currently is beating people down. Right. I'd like to flash back uh, the Mystic Retrieval to get myself back one of those handy vision charms. I feel like that flashback can go back to your hands. Hmm. Yes, that resolves. It's funny how Dundans become the bad cards. <laughs> I'll play a Mystic Sanctuary to put, I guess, this vision charm on top. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to cast Diminishing Returns. Since all of your games seems to be around resolving Diminishing Returns, I think you can try that again. Yes, I'm actually fine with that. Okay, very good. At the end of turn, I would like to cast a vision charm <laughs> that puts the top four cards from your library into your graveyard. I will predict that there's a vision charm on top. So well, what that means is I choose vision charm. Well, we have to look first. <laughs> it's a card market. <laughs> I'll mill the top card. I named vision charm and because it's the same name, I draw two cards. One, two. Can I now mill four? <laughs> you can now mill four. Uh, two, three, four, okay. That's a lot of dundans in the graveyard. My turn? Yes. I'll play an island and then attack with my dundun. Yep, down to eight. I will say it's your turn. Yeah, I'll you just feel a little draw. bit stupid with all your cards in your hand, right? <laughs> Let us draw seven cards. I need more cards. I'll put a vision charm on top. Mm. <laughs> it's just such a convenient card. And I'll follow it up by letting us more draw cards. How about diminishing returns? So you do actually have a bad hand? I'm so confused. I will spend four mana. I don't believe I'm doing this, but I'm countering the diminishing. <laughs> all my cards are bad, but it sounds like yours are worse. I don't know, mine aren't too great <laughs> either at this point. Wow. I'll try to memory lapse that. I would like to draw some cards. Yes, I uh, made you use two mana. Okay, that happens. Okay, so memory lapse puts this on top. And then we shuffle all of this and this <laughs> and this. The memory lapse too. Yes, that resolves. Our and hand. my garbage. <laughs> What did you have? Really nothing. <laughs> okay, well, ten cards. There are not many cards <laughs> left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another eight. two dundons. Yes. Well. Eventually, we don't have more. Only right. oh, a limited deck. Oh, well, there you go. Do you know how many are in the deck? Dundons? I think ten. Oh, okay. So there's four gone. Four gone, one on the battlefield. Well, this one goes to the graveyard, and I have a fresh... Wow, look at those cards. Mm, they're amazing. I agree, I agree. Much better than everything before. All right, Tuffle, not to worry. Go ahead, your turn. I don't... I know no fear. You don't even play a Dundon? I have as much mana after resolving diminishing returns and a counterspell as you have on the battlefield. <laughs> but I... I have nothing to say about that. No, it's just true. <laughs> I will play a Temple of Epiphany Tent. Okay, so you get to scry. I will get to scry. Oh, okay. I will leave that on top. Mm. <laughs> that doesn't bode well. I will attack with my Dundon. Down to four. <laughs> it is your turn. It's my turn. I mean, I have a Dundon and you're at four. Mm. Which is basically... I, I'm not a... don't know about you, but you're dead. I'll cycle a Lonely Sandbar. I would like to respond with a predict. A predict? Yes. Hmm. I'll respond by casting Accumulated Knowledge. How lucky do you feel, Mr. Toffel? I would like to cycle a remote island. Does <laughs> yes. that resolve? Yeah, that resolves. So I'll draw this card. Yeah. Okay, very good. Seems like a good card. It huh? is a good card. <laughs> Which is very ironic. <laughs> Okay, this is us. Then you might draw your card. I will. Okay, then I'll predict. Well, actually hitting is kind of unimportant because I do have six cards. So if I go to seven or eight, it doesn't matter much. I will say it's an island. Well, I've never guessed. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> okay, I will draw one. 
And oh, then... Insidious Will seems like such a great card. I really want that. Well, it's gone. So now you draw a card. Now I draw my card off okay. the Lonely Sandbar. I have done everything I could. Jamin is now at four life, and that means we can use all of our cards to press the last four damage through because that wins the game. It doesn't matter how many cards you have at the end of the game when you have zero life because that means you've lost. So, by him being on four life means that he probably has to use a lot of his cards in emergency mode and we can get a lot of advantage or even win with one narrow window. I'll untap. Mm -hmm. Do you know how it feels to untap with this much mana, Tafel? You've played Tron before, you know the greatness of mana. I do not know right now, In but general. I also don't know what it feels like to be one hit away from dying. Mm, I mean, you're one hit away off of a 2020 from dying. Yes, do you have a 2020? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you caught me. Um, go ahead. I feel like you're not playing this right. <laughs> like, and today we play Dun Dun, or as we otherwise would say, Yemen gets hit four times and just dies with 15 cards in hand. All right, we'll play an island. And I don't know, I'm just gonna attack. Sure, yes. Attack. You got me, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good game. <laughs> no. There was just nothing I could have done differently. Let's change that Dun Dun's text to force you to control Forest. I think we're going for it. I would like to tap two islands and cast a Dance of the Skywise. Now, and end of turn, Pi creature you will control becomes a blue dragon illusion. It's not a fish anymore. It evolved. Okay. My Dun Dun evolves to dragon dragon? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, anyway, it has base, toughness, power, 4-4, four, four. gains flying and loses all ability. Interesting, okay. So that would also get rid of the annoying sacrifice clause. Yes. I will tap six to try and bounce your Dundan and instead create a Dundan myself in its place as a token. So hear me out. I was all about saving my Dundan. It's time to get rid of your Dundan. I would like to cast a <laughs> 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 uh, Would liking to change all lands of one basic land type of my choice into another. Oh no, I tapped so many of... Oh no, I didn't tap so many of my lands, but still. Okay, um, do you have to choose that now or on resolution? On resolution I have to choose, yes. So I'm passing priority. I guess I'll float to blue and that resolves. So Vision Charm resolves. Yep. Everything is going to be forests. Okay. So Dun Dun dies. Dun Dun dies. I'll use one green and one blue, so I still have a green floating afterwards, to bounce my supplement form. That is very smart. It resolves, yes. So then all of these fizzle. <laughs> Nobody ever cared about them. I think that's why it's called Forgetful Fish. You just play so many <laughs> things you then don't want you to want to play. Okay. So we're still in combat and I still have one blue mana floating, but I don't think I'll use it. Okay. In my second main phase, I have three forests. Yeah. <laughs> but I also have... <laughs> <laughs> two blues uh, to cast another Dundun. Oh, you don't have any more blue mana available, Toffle. I do not. I'm locked out of blue. Yes, sure, Toffle. You got it. Nice. I unfortunately don't have any way of using green mana, so it's your turn. At end of turn, I'll use one blue and one green mm -hmm. to cast Accumulated Knowledge. Ooh. And as I think there is one copy of that in the graveyard already. You draw two? I draw two. One and two. What happens if there are no cards? Well, uh, one of us is gonna deck. It's just when you draw and you can't, you're dead? That's what we talked about last time. Oh. I'll untap. Now we all have access to blue mana again. I'll play an island. Let me just remind you. We play a format that's called Dundun. Yeah. And you haven't even resolved a L single Dundun. Let now. me let me make up for that right now. I was hesitant to make an effort to get a Dundun in play, but given that I drew one this turn, I'm gonna play it. You just did a challenge. I won Dundun without playing one Dundun. And I'll pass the turn. At the end of turn, I would like to cast a Crystal Spray on your Dundun. Crystal Spray? That's a good card, huh? So in the end, it doesn't even matter. Like, you're never winning over damage. I just have to deck you. If you can. It was all just <laughs> a distraction. I would like to supplement form my own Dundun back into my hand and create a token that's a copy of it. Okay. So here's my Dundun, here's my copy. And then I guess I still need to change the, your Dundun 
for needing a forest. Unfortunately, my fish is now stuck on the land. Hmm. Oh, do you have more? Uh, is it do I have more? What do you have more? Is it your turn? I don't know if it's your turn. What can you do? Go ahead. Maybe I'm just too afraid. <laughs> of what? A ray of command. And then? I'm on four topple. Yeah, I mean, oh, maybe I've missed phrased. And then? Are you just dead? Have you just maneuvered your way into oblivion? I will tap four mana. Sure. And I will cast a ray of command on your copy. This is where the music starts. Dun, 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 dun. The last march of the machine fish thing. I will unsubstantiate your array of command. Get it back. Huh? Yeah, you can just have another, a, another shot at it. How does that sound? Good. I will accept it. Cards in hand? Three. Well, luckily, I've made the smart decision in my life to have 20 life instead of four. <laughs> So I'm gonna use my life as a resource and pass the turn. All right, I'll take that. I will untap with my bazillion mana. You live another day. I will draw. Ah, another land. Ah, it's very tough. But like, if, if I had spells to sink my mana into, um, Tafel would not like see the light of day again. But as it stands, not too good. I will play a Temple of Epiphany. Oh, uh, that's not an island. It's not an island. Oh, wow, it's so bad. I think it needs to go to the bottom. Is it a memory lapse? It's not a memory lapse. And I will cast a Dundun and I'll pass the turn. Oh, you're afraid! <laughs> well, what do you mean I'm afraid? I know you have a ray of command in your hand. <laughs> Just, to me, that sounds like you're afraid. Okay, I will draw. So, wait, are you just saying that you're afraid with two Dunduns? Okay, well, it's your turn. I'll draw. Uh, I'll play another tap land. Okay. And pass the turn. Oh, this is so exciting. I just, I'm one piece away. That's a trading card game available on card market. <sighs> go. Okay. It's fine, go. I, I'm, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Or, as the new people say, bing chilling. Oh. I'll attack. That can't. Okay. I, I can tell you what happened. Ah. <laughs> Go ahead. You have two cards. I do. I must. Somehow. I mean, you've got six cards. It does feel like there should be a way. I will tap two mana. And metamorphose. Huh? You remember that card? I do. From back in the day? This time, though. Sure. Do you, would you like to put something into play? No. <laughs> then I would like to cast a predict. Hmm, that's a tad annoying. Sure. Okay, I would say done done. Yeah. This goes in there. So I draw one. I draw two. Then I will cast a mystical tutor. Wow, you got it all, huh? Yes, sure. Let's see. What was it? Uh, oh, you put it done done down? Let's put this on top and shuffle the library. <laughs> shuffle. You have to reveal it though. Ah. Oh, well, yeah. Another ray of command, huh? Yes. My turn. Yeah. Oh, a ray of command. I would like to cast a ray of command. Sure. Yes. You got it. I would like to attack. Yes. With my fish. I'd like to metamorph that fish. I would like to memory lapse. I'll try to memory lapse your memory lapse. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Good game. Aww, oh, four life is too little to survive on for long. Yeah. I guess you're still righteously Ooh. the Dundun King. Oh, there's a reason people call that one of the most skillful formats. And remember, 
we only played this again because you wanted that. You wrote in the comments and said, that was a bit short, but really fun. Can you please do another round? So and we gave it another go. Exactly. <laughs> in the meantime, if you're not subscribed yet, but you do enjoy this type of content, please do and maybe send the video to someone who hasn't seen it yet. And if you haven't watched the first Dundan video, go check it out. It's still a pretty fun game, even though a bit short. Did you just call it skillful just because you kept on winning? Oh, did you know that there are so many skillful formats in that? <laughs> no. Yeah, I remember the modern was really skillful. And do you remember when we played Lantern against Chemo mm, Yeah, that, that was, was really very skillful. 